Hello. In this short video, we will go through the derivation, the low point, F. The learning objective for this video is to understand the derivation behind the F equation, equation 5.1 from the Bridges Prosperity Bridge Builder Manual, 5th edition. And during this process, once again, let us assume that for our span range, the cable follows a parabolic shape. Also note that point F does not occur at the midpoint L over two. First, we'll take the equation of a parabola and define three points. Point one will be zero, zero on the left-hand side. Oops. Point two will be the right-hand side abutment defined by X equals L and Y equals delta H. And point three will be the midpoint, where x equals L over two and y equals delta H over two minus the dead load sag. Once we have the equation for this parabola, we can use it to find the vertex, which is F, and um, plug all of our var variables in. So in order to even better simplify our equations, we'll introduce a fourth equation and define the vertex or low point where y equals f and the derivative or slope of the parabola is equal to zero. And like I just mentioned, we could eventually solve for a and b in terms of f. So this would be our fourth point here. And at the vertex, which is the low point, y equals f and dy dx equals zero. Finally, we'll solve for a and b in terms of delta h, l, and design tag, and plug into the equation from above and simplify with algebra to get f. Similar to what I mentioned in the previous lecture, this is not an algebra course, so we'll spare you the details. However, my strategy here was to plug the unsimplified equation into MATLAB, or use your favorite solver, whether that be Python, Wolfram Alpha, etc. And I used that to confirm I was correct before doing the final variable manipulation. So we plug, uh, we solve for A and B in terms of delta H, HDL, and L, then plug into number two, which is step here above, uh, in order to then solve for F. In order to get those delta H uh, design load, uh, dead load sag, and uh, L in terms of A and B, we'll use those equations from step one here uh, for point one, two, and three uh, in order to solve for that. 